All right, so let's go ahead and actually solve the first free response problem on your second practice exam. So let's just begin with a free body diagram. So I'm going to have an F. And just to be clear, let me split this force into um, its two constituents parts, uh, the sine and cosine component. So we're going to have an F cosine component here. And we're going to have its sine component going vertically. We also have, pointing to the left, a friction force. We have the weight um, on the block due to the earth. And we have the normal force on the block due to the surface. <coughs> Excuse me, pointing upwards. So let's go ahead and now that we've got this labeled, uh, let's go ahead and actually drive an expression for the normal force. So we're going to have the normal. Um, and the sine component of the pulling force, it's actually F1, so let me be careful and label that. Competes with the weight force, which I'm just going to write as mg pointing down. So our normal force simply ends up being mg minus F1 times the sine of theta. So we've expressed everything in terms of the constants below. And then for part C, it says derive a, an expression for the coefficient of connect friction between the block and the surface. So let's write down the horizontal force equation. That's going to be F1 cosine theta minus the friction equals M times A. And let me make sure I have that acceleration. Um, it is labeled as A1. Just wanted to make sure. And we already know that our normal force is given by mg minus f1 sine of theta. So to this end, um, the friction force, since these are supposed to be known, um, all these letters, I can actually isolate the friction as f1 cosine theta minus ma1. And my normal force is mg minus f1 sine theta. And so my coefficient of friction is going to be f over n. Uh, because I'm using the friction as fun equation. So that's going to give me F1 cosine theta minus MA1 all over MG minus F1 sine theta. And so that's going to be my expression for mu. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, when we actually, whoa, when we actually um, then apply a big enough force, the block will lose contact with the ground. Um, well, we'll still maintain contact with the ground, um, and there's a maximum of acceleration that we're going to achieve. Let me explain how that works. Um, read this to yourself, and then I got a point to make, which is this. Um, the normal force, again, equals mg minus f1 sine theta. So here's the deal. Um, when we say still maintain contact, what I almost want to say is barely maintain so that the normal force is practically equal to zero. And what that would do is that would actually then give us um, an equation F1 cosine theta minus mu times the normal force equals ma max. And then here, this n is going to be 0. So we actually get an acceleration of f1 cos theta divided by m for the maximum a. Now when we sketch, sketch the velocity and the displacement versus time, let's be clear. Um, this is a standard constant acceleration. So our velocity graph looks like this, and our position versus time graph looks like that. And we're done. So that's question number one on the free response.